Okay, okay. Dan, I'm just going to leave this one to you because <laughs> it's been, I know we have one episode left. I know we had a crazy time jump, which could not have come at a worse time because we're left picking up all the pieces being like, wah. And we ended with some pretty shocking twists as well. So take me through it and just explain how we got here and where we're at, where we've ended up. Yeah. Um, so basically this episode picks up and they did, like you said, there's a five month time jump. Like they, they jump five months forward from where we left off the last episode. And here's the thing. I will make this little small critique here. I know this show has made a habit of jumping, um, make doing time jumps. They jump like yeah. 10 years between each season. And earlier in this season, they jumped ahead by two years at one point. So they do this a lot. However, and I think sometimes their choices that they're making is they did like to show you some of the melodrama, but then they like to avoid some of the other melodrama. Like the big melodrama story of this season has been Danny Stevens, um, his descent into craziness and drug addiction. And, you know, basically, you know, he's been, uh, addicted to opioids because he was trying to like i don't know keep himself sane or like keep his keep himself mellow because he has he had anger issues but then at the end of the last episode you have the situation where the two russians that are left on this uh, on mars at this point because everybody else has died along the way or on mars those two know that uh, kelly at baldwin's daughter is pregnant with one of now one of who is now a, a dead cosmonauts uh, who she was having right. an affair with so at the end of episode eight you're left in a situation where ed baldwin is sort of aware that kelly is pregnant and he's sort of comforting her because he realizes that the per the, the, the would-be father of the child is now dead so you know she's distraught but then i would have loved to see uh, you know the scenes where the russians have to tell every well here's the thing actually so ed baldwin doesn't know that kelly is pregnant nobody knows kelly's pregnant at that point they just know that she's distraught over this guy who's dead. And then I guess you can infer that they were having a fling or an affair or whatever. But right. I would have loved to see the scenes where Ed Baldwin, you know, um, uh, D Danny, like everybody like from the NASA crew, from the Helios crew, everybody other than the Russians, like the Russians tell them that, oh, Kelly is pregnant. <clears throat> So do you, think that this was a, do you think That's that this a, was a warranted time jump or do you think this was really just, hey, we only have one episode left. Let's just write it. Let's write that out. I, I th so in part, I think they had to kind of move, keep things moving because ultimately where the episode ends, I think is justified now with the decisions that they made. However, right. I still think maybe they could have started the scene off with a scene or two or maybe have it be part of the last scene, uh, last episode and then end at the end of like the Russians telling everybody Kelly's pregnant. And then you can, you know, end the episode there. I just think that was something that was, you know, the writers made a choice. I personally don't agree with that. I would have loved to see, you know, when they reveal to everybody. Because when we start this episode, not only do do the crew on Mars know, uh, everybody there, but everybody on Earth knows. Like, you see these newsreels talking about, like, oh, like, all the people are running away with their imaginations because you have this American astronaut who is going to have the baby of a, a Russian cosmonaut who's not alive anymore. But, like, you know, like, the world coming together. I mean, all for the better, in a manner of speaking. But I don't know. I just, I, I disagreed with that decision. Now... And that's not the only twist we got this episode, right? No, no, no. There's so much more happening in this episode. So very quickly, I'll run you through some of the basic storylines about what's happening on Mars. We've, so we've mm -hmm. already kind of discussed that. But then on Earth, we've got like, you know, Aleda. She's finally started like trying to confront Margot about giving information to the Russians on the engine design that NASA was using. She's very suspect, but she, she's got this internal battle going on. Uh, Helios is on the verge of bankruptcy. So they're trying to roll, they're starting to roll back their plans for Mars. And then the big one, the big one is President Wilson she finally comes out as, as being gay on a press That's conference right. where her husband was about to like, you know, basically take the fall for for everything leading in, you know, from the events from before. But she's like, nope, this is time. And then, you know, the whole, like the reaction from that, you get newsreels again and people are celebrating and people are protesting against that. She's the first mm -hmm. gay uh, American president. It's, I think representation in this show is fantastic and they continue to like you know face these kind of tough controversial issues if you call them what you want like you know issues it's interesting that... to put them in the context of the 90s too exactly i mean these are all things like that that, that 
we have people today have trouble talking about um in 2022 at the dinner table with the, you know like depending like people within families have different opinions on things like this like uh so, it's, so representation in the show i think is fantastic i love how they're not they don't hide from it they, they, they tackle it head on so that's great um and then like you said okay so this is you're like that if that wasn't already enough the final scene of the episode, you have the, the, the leader of the Russian team and the leader of the NASA team, the two of them are going out on this expedition to find one of the probes from, so apparently Turkey, uh, People's Republic of Korea, aka North Korea, as well as India and, and China have landed probes on Mars as well, not people, or at least we're led to believe that. Um, and 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 they they need to find a part to like get their MSAM up or, or Phoenix running, which is the transport that takes them from the surface up to orbit, so they can go back home to Earth and hit their launch window. But they're missing a critical component that then that they find out that is in one of those Korean probes, the North Korean probes. So they're like, we'll just go salvage it from there. It's a robotic mission. Like you know, we, then we'll t tell the Koreans about it and whatever they need to bring us back with us for them. We will do that. But of course. They walk, they walk up to the site, they finally they're, they're, get there in a rover, and then they walk up and, they, and the Russian uh, cosmonaut, he notices a footprint. And they're like, yeah. oh shit, we yeah. weren't here before. What the hell? And I was like, ooh, like I literally sat above like, oh, things just got interesting. And then, and then, then the North Korean astronaut just pops in from the side. He's got a gun pointed at these two people. And that's where the episode ends. And I'm like, that capsule that he came in, it was like crashed on its side. I'm like, this, the Koreans send this guy on a one-way mission. And, and he looked panicked. So, yeah. oh my God, I don't know where this is going to go. There's one episode left. I don't the either, finale. but like... You know, just just hearing about that, yeah. this was this was a really sometimes you know sometimes they overblow the uh, the se season finale of a show, and really it's that it's that ninth episode that penultimate episode where it's like we're setting everything up and this is the first domino to fall, and you're left for a week wondering what's going to happen to all the rest of them. In any case, it sounds pretty exciting. I'm gonna oh, be yeah. really interested in hearing what you have to say about it next week. Um, and yeah, I mean, it sounds it sounds like a good show. Um, I'd, I'll be interested to know where you think they'll pick up. Do you think it'll be another 10 years? Do you think they'll take it to now? I mean, there's, with the time jumps and the way that they've been playing it, it could end up anywhere being anything. I know that they have a plan for like seven or eight seasons, and so they're likely wow. going to go well into the 21st Future. century at, by the end of it yeah. all. Where'd they go in the last episode? Now, the season two finale is was truly memorable. There was so much stuff that happened. So I can only imagine with everything they've set up, this next episode is going to have a lot to deal with and is going to leave us in a place, hopefully, of optimi you know something optimistic, like the last season ended with somebody but putting their foot on Mars. And I think, you know, maybe maybe we end the season with either a colony on Mars or we end it with somebody stepping foot on one of Jupiter's moons. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they're going to skip another decade for the next season, but the finale, let's just say I'm excited about it. And what, where we left off episode nine, there's so much ground to cover. I know this. These are this is not a Disney Plus show where they're gonna, you know, where they're gonna just have 40 minutes and they won't stick the landing. I know Ronald D. Moore will stick the landing. I just can't wait to see how, because that will be the exciting part. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing about it. Um, for you people, have you been watching the show? What are your theories about it? Where do you see it going? Tell us in the comments. We'll respond if it's a good comment. You could be the comment of the week. But we want to know what you think. Like, subscribe, follow us all over. Tell your friends and other people about it. And, uh, and yeah, be, be part of the conversation.